because I mentioned the video so I put a new one again. Put a CMOS battery in it. And it took out the sound card. Because it froze on detecting plug and play hardware. So I'm trying this again. I would have put this part in the video. The original video. And say it's weeks later but I just deleted the video. So we're trying it again. Use another program to format the drive and scan disk didn't like it, so I used the setup switch to disable scan disk. And we're installing right now. It's still up for sale on eBay, I'm just playing around with it. So, now we're going to see if it freezes it. It's detecting plug and play hardware. And sometimes I can memor memorize this key, sometimes I can't memorize most of it. Starts with HQ twenty three F. The last one's four F R R M. Third one, I think, seven V three H T. No H J. W X W F F is second to last, I think. WFF is the second one. What the hell? KCVXT, that's it. Okay. Here it is. You know, I'm just gonna let it sit there for an hour or so. Maybe it'll work. I wonder if you can skip this. I'll look into it. I'm gonna try that one. And if not, we'll do basic things like ignore the CPU check. So it's got a 3.4 hyperthread and video 4. I turn hyperthreading off. So I heard stuff about Windows 98 and that, not liking it. And that will do the. Let's see. Bypass hardware info. After the CPU check thing. Alright, we enabled verbose prod verbose process. So we can see what happened. What hardware. Whatever. Gonna do this crap again. The SATA drive, but I installed 98 on my SATA SSD once and it went flawlessly. And it was on a D520. So, what the hell? That's a core 2 machine. Another site that works. This one looks good. Safe detection of hardware. Don't do skip the memory check. So, my gig should work fine. Oh, okay. See, it froze right there. Never would have guessed. It's not the RAM. It wasn't the sound card. Hmm. Try another switch, I guess. Right now you're using the setup switch P A. Try it again. Now you can do more than one. So we'll do that next time. PB next because it uh to step through detection modules manually. So we skip the ACPI thing. <sighs> Alright, let's do that batch thing. So we have to skip scan disks this time. Yep, looks like it didn't work. Fuck. Too many times it asked me to fix it. 
Oh, there's only one problem, so we're good. Why did not even finish? Oh, we, probably because we fixed the only problem. Oh, valid command option. Yeah, because I put another right-facing bracket on accident. So it's just going to reject the whole thing. Do it again. And you see keyboards no model in, but I love how it sounds. I'm making it be over here. Eh? Drop almost drop the phone there. Is there a smudge right there or something? It looks blurry. That's just not that's not just like camera, that's where we look at that line right there. Not sure why it does that on here. Saving system files. Again, it looks fuzzy. Does that not look fuzzy in the middle? Of course, the camera doesn't. Those letter numbers right there look blurry. Don't know why. Oh, because the line going down. What the hell? This monitor is also for sale, by the way. should copy 98 OS from another PC. <laughs> I think I'm on to something here. But usually when I clone a drive, it doesn't work. Hmm. Might as well, might as well mess, mess around. Might as well mess around with this thing before it's sold. Five people are watching it. Buy it already. Come on. Inspire on 4,000 for sale. Six watchers. More watchers than the last two times I posted it. Be right back. Got my coffee right there. Got Windows 98 right here. Oh, today's Friday. Hope we get a video from LGR. fast it's probably not gonna do a damn thing so I'm gonna put the original OS back on here oh crap oh it's giving us options good so let's skip this all Hopefully the work we do it manually on startup. Oh my god, we skipped it all and we're going forward. Yes! Since it's working now, I'm gonna locate the ATI X300 Sound Blaster Audi G2 ZS98 drivers. One of them is on Phil's computer lab, so that's good. Thank you for that. Cool. So going along, get the drivers now. It says the 925XE chipset. Either it has the X or the XE. Mine's the XE. X300, the potato i430VX calls it. <laughs> Sub if you're not. TS channel, be mine too if you want. Do whatever you want. Oh, that's Rage Pro, this one we want right here. The MSFN forms where I found the other one. So where's the driver? 98, here's the link. Vogon is another good site. Click here, begin download. There we go. That's done. Oh, taskbar, what the hell? <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> okay. So we're done or what? Well, it is installed, so let's reboot. Hope that wasn't a mistake. We'll find out, won't we? Yep. Ah. 
I don't know if it's going to detect the drive right off the bat. I haven't done 98 on here before. This dimension's an 05. No. Who cares? You guys have an internet adapter that works. Belkin something. Monster. Monster. <laughs> I was going to say monitor. Oh no, it's not there. I got one for it, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Standard BGA. Yes, please. Oh, I'm happy now. Oh, I hate that. <sighs> ID is great and all, but this is annoying as fuck. Get the drivers going. Since we didn't install any devices, we have to do all this manually. <sighs> what first? System board. PS2 mouse. It's working, so whatever. Wait, I didn't copy that to the drive. Is it, is it on there? Hmm. So it does detect the CD-ROM. What the hell's going on? There's another room. I think I'm crazy talking to myself. <laughs> Didn't put that in yet, so I gotta put some copy of the files. Show you the stuff here. Oh no, whatever I'm gonna do, it's at the Japanese support font. <laughs> Just in case. What the hell is this thing doing? Oh, it froze. The light's actually not flickering.